Lohakali, where uh, Gandhiji moved in that places. Dear students, look at this uh, map where it is a uh, red color it is there that is uh, a place called uh, with noha kali it is in uh, bengal today it is uh, bangladesh instead what is the name of the place noha kali so on 15th august uh, 1947 father of the India that is Mahatma Gandhi he was moving in this place which place that is Noha Kali instead which place Noha don't write anything please Noha Kali Noha Kali so this is the place there Gandhiji was uh, moving. Why Gandhiji was moving? It is a place where Hindu Muslims fought each other and killed each other. This place torn into two communities. So it is a place we call Riot Heated. Riot Heated place. So Gandhiji want to spread uh, peace in this uh, region. Gandhiji was not happy by the partition of uh, India into Indian Union and uh, Pakistan. So he was uh, unhappy with the communal riots occurred uh, in uh, northwestern part of India that is the uh, present Pakistan and also in a uh, Nohakali. There he was uh, trying to inculcate peace in this uh, place, Nohakali place. When all leaders of the Congress party and other uh, nationalist members were uh, engaged in celebrations of uh, India's independence, Gandhiji was uh, at uh, Nohakali. After 9th September 1947, Gandhiji reached from Nohakali to Delhi. Understand? So here, Gandhiji trying to spread a message that there is paternal feelings among Indians. He was uh, conducting all religion prayer meetings. Many times he organized all religion, uh, all religion prayer meetings. Understand? All religion prayer meetings. Understand? What is meant by all religion prayer meetings? It is a place where all the people of different religions would attend where Gandhiji addresses all the people towards paternal relations and uh, spreading the peace instead so this all religion prayer meetings were uh, not uh, good for some people the people who did not like uh, the activities of Gandhiji they wanted to stop this all religion prayer meetings which were organized by Gandhiji so some of the people who were uh, hatred towards other religion and they believe that their religion is very great we call them religious fanatics who go by their religion with a great love they die for the religion such people are called religious fanatics so they wanted to assassinate Gandhiji who 
religious uh, fanatics and stand religious fanatics and stand so they tried one attempt on 28th january and stand on 28th january 1948 one attempt was made on gandhi ji to kill that was unsuccessful okay on that day that is on 28th on 28th january after the attempt which was unsuccessful there gandhi ji stated that uh, if he was to die with a bullet of a mad man then gandhi ji stated he would uh, keep smiling and there would not be anger on the person who shoots him and he said uh, gan god must be in his heart and and on his lips these are the words uh, stated by gandhi ji on 28th january 1948 after unsuccessful attempt of uh, killing gandhi ji so anyway on 30th january 1948 when 30th january 1948 in a prayer meeting okay when gandhi ji was uh, organizing all religion prayer meeting there one religious fanatic his name was uh, nathuram godse what is that nathuram nathu ram godse understand godse he was the person nathuram godse look at his uh, photograph this person was a religious fanatic and stand and this person took a rifle when gandhi ji was moving in the prayer meeting in opposite direction to the gandhi ji this person nathuram godse came to the opposite directions of the gandhi ji and stand opposite direction of gandhi ji look at this uh, figure here in this figure what do you see it is nathuram godse he was a nathuram godse instead and here gandhi ji instead so it was on 30th january 1948 there nathuram godse came in opposite direction to gandhi ji look at in his hand there is a rifle dear students look at in his hand here is a rifle instead so with that rifle he shooted gandhi ji before shooting the gandhi ji he touched the feet of gandhi ji and taken the rifle from his uh, pocket inserted three bullets into the chest of gandhi ji everybody was shocked what was happening there everybody was in shock that uh, gandhi ji was on the floor and he was uh, smiling saying that uh, hey ram the last words which uh, released out of the gandhi ji that is uh, hey ram hey ram these are the words gandhi ji spoken at the time of his uh, death and stand see when gandhi ji was uh, shooted there was a shock everybody was a shock and from that place nathuram godse escaped later he was arrested uh, at bombay nathuram godse was arrested at uh, bombay and stand and he was the member of a uh, hindu mahasabha who nathuram 
God say. Look, this person was the asin of Mahatma Gandhi and he was arrested at Bombay and after the incident of Mahatma Gandhi's assassination, Hindu Mahasabha decided to work for real activities that is building Hinduism. It moved aside from the political work. On 15th and 14th February 1948, All India Hindu Mahasabha, that is Hindu Mahasabha, decided to suspend its political work. It decided to stop its political work and decided to work on a, a real organizational work that is building unity in Hindus. Okay, thereafter, uh, God say was arrested and he was given uh, punishment instead. Because of the God say, Hindu Mahasabha earned a bad name. So, Hindu Mahasabha decided to stop its political wing. That is, then after Hindu Mahasabha decided not to enter into the political matter. Instead, it worked only building the word unity uh, among different sections of the Hindu people instead. So this was the assassination of uh, Mahatma Gandhi ji instead. The next uh, we look at here during uh, Mount Barton plan instead. It was a Mount Barton uh, plan that time there uh, Mount Barton who was the viceroy of uh, British India uh, decided that to make a partition of India and also uh, what to call declare independence okay so as per the Mountbatten plan India was a partition right and when Britishers decided to give independence to India they also mentioned that India would be uh, given freedom along with that it will be uh, partitioned into India and Pakistan right and at that time there were 550 princely states is mean by princely states uh, certain small regions ruled by some individuals are called princely states an area ruled by individual princes are called princely states so india consisted of uh, 550 around 550 it was uh, 564 actually so 550 princely states were uh, there in india which were ruled by different princes different princes uh, ruled this uh, five princely states i'll show you that here yeah. look at that this is a uh, central province it's a princely state berar bihar then here you can see that uh, agra united province this one okay then this is the sindh province this is ajmer and uh, mewar okay this is a kurg understand like these madras province hmm? hyderabad province this one hyderabad province so in that way 550 princely states were there which were ruled by different princes instead so at that time Britishers declared that Britishers were leaving India and they decided that to declare independence to all all in the sense to the India Pakistan and princely states so Britishers uh, wanted uh, to know that whether princely states would be independent or they can join either India or Pakistan. When independence is going to be declared, princely states also given freedom by Britishers that uh, they could join, that is princely states could join either uh, India 
or uh, Pakistan or they can remain independent. See, at the time of independence also Britishers, they created trouble for Indians, right? They did not declare independence to India. They declared independence to India and created trouble to India that uh, India should fight with the princely states to create Akhand Bharat. That means to create a integrated India. Understand? That was a problem. Understand? So, here it was a major task. See, today our India is very beautiful with a, a good shape. Right? And at that time it was not like that. It was broken into many pieces. Look at all the pieces in India which were shown in different colors. If all these were different today, how would be the shape of India? Once imagine that if uh, there is no proper shape of India, right? So all these 550, 50, 550 princely states should be united to create a unified India. And that major task of uh, creating unified India and annexing the 550 princely states that was uh, given to the what to call Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Stan, who was the first uh, home minister of uh, independent uh, India. He was a person behind unification of uh, princely states to the Indian Union. Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Stan, he worked hard in building United India and Stan. 550 princely states were not ready to join uh, India. Understand? So, such a major task uh, was given to the Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Understand? The Rajas, that is the princes of this uh, 550 princely states, were not ready to join uh, what you call Indian Union. Understand? So, at that time, we see that uh, you are. People in this uh, 550 princely states uh, experienced uh, revolution and uh, democratic rights. So, their people wanted that India should be independent uh, in which uh, their region should be there. That means the princely states, people of uh, princely states, okay, people living in princely states wanted all the princely states should join. Indian Union so that uh, people will enjoy democratic rights whereas the princely uh, states uh, Rajas that is the uh, princes of the princely states they were not ready to merge their kingdom or their princely states or native states to the Indian Union instead here we see this is a task uh, given to the what you call Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Stan. So here in a Travancore and a Hyderabad these were the two reasons they were not ready and Stan. Look at my dear students. Uh, it is a Travancore and Stan. Here it is there right. This is a Travancore and this is Hyderabad state and also Kashmir and Stan. These regions were not ready, understand? Look at this, dear students, understand? This is uh, uh, what you call a Jammu and Kashmir, Hyderabad, and here Travancore, understand? These are the regions uh, they were not ready to join Indian Union, understand? Right? You can see that it is uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, Balarama, Thiru, Thirunal Balarama Varma. He was the last Maharaja of a Travancore. Which one? Travancore. And you know that, uh, that Hyderabad was uh, ruled by Nizam ul Mulk. Understand? Right? Nizam was the ruler of the Hyderabad. And he also not ready to merge his kingdom with the uh, uh, Indian Union. Understand? In Jammu Kashmir, there was a Maharaja Hari Singh. Right? These were the princely states. They were not ready to join here and stand. So, here Pakistan tried to occupy Jammu Kashmir which was, uh, pa which was under uh, 
மகாராஜா ஹரிசிங் ஓகே ஸோ மகாராஜா ஹரிசிங் வென் பாகிஸ்தான் அட்டாக்டு ஆன் ஜம்மு காஷ்மீர் மகாராஜா ஹரிசிங் வாஸ் அ ரூலர் ஆஃப் ஜம்மு காஷ்மீர் வாண்டிட் த சப்போர்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஸோ தட் இந்தியா ஆல்சோ டிசைடட் இஃப் ஜம்மு காஷ்மீர் ஈஸ் ஆடட் டு இந்தியன் யூனியன் தென் ஓன்லி தேர் சப்போர்ட் வில் பி கிவன் ஸோ மகாராஜா ஹரிசிங் ஜாயிண்ட் வித் இந்தியன் யூனியன் மேக்கிங் அன் அக்ரிமெண்ட் தட் இஸ் கால்டு இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் ஆஃப் அக்சிஷன் வாட் வி கால் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் ஆஃப் அக்சிஷன் ஸோ வித் அட் அக்ரிமெண்ட் வி சி தட் ஜம்மு காஷ்மீர் ஆடட் டு தி இந்தியன் யூனியன் இன்ஸ்டன் whereas uh, hyderabad and travancore was uh, not ready instead so in this um, uh, this person sardar vallabhai patel okay he uh, followed uh, one strategy he toured among uh, all 550 princely states he toured there and he stated that uh, india is going to be created and which is a democratic nation so he requested uh, many of the princely uh, princely princes to merge their kingdom to the indian union understand somewhere he requested uh, somewhere he touched the feet of the princess to join the indian union that means he shown different uh, methods understand see he stated that uh, if uh, people the princely states uh, the ru- rulers of the princely states if they do not accept the instrument of accession then there would be attack from indian army instead indian army would attack on the prince princely states who were not ready to join their uh, prince uh, princely kingdom with the indian union so there is a soft method and hard method instead first uh, sardar vallabhai patel requested to the princely uh, leaders to merge their kingdom to indian union to create a strong uh, unified india so those who merge uh, their kingdom for them sardar vallabhai patel granted uh, privy purses what do you mean by privy purses uh, giving certain annual amount that is a pension a pension was granted to the uh, princely uh, rulers of the princely states that means princes were given annual pension by the sardar vallabhai patel for merging their kingdom that was called privy purses and stand so this was a thing so which accepted by the some princes and merged their kingdom when coming to the what to call junadgarh that is in gujarat and stand i'll show you that it is this is junadgarh and stand so this is the place this junard guard uh, not uh, ready to join with the uh, indian union and it bended towards uh, pakistan instead and another is uh, travancore which also not uh, ready and hyderabad state also was uh, not ready hyderabad state also not ready which was uh, uh, moving with uh, pakistan instead so here uh, sardar vallabhai patel warned that whoever uh, did not merge their kingdom on such uh, princely states there would be attack from indian army indian army would attack and uh, it will go on uh, ending the process of creating new india by merging the what uh, princely states instead so the first phase in the process of creating the new states in india started uh, in 1956 instead and here we see that uh, uh the princely st- uh, states rulers were given a pension you know as a princess merged the merged their kingdom to the indian uh, uh, union they were given a pension right that is called privy purses telugu lo raja barnalu antam as they merged their kingdom to the indian union they were given annual pension fund for the princess by sardar vallabhai patel that was called privy purses and this privy purses were uh, removed after 1971 because in 1971 our indian constitution incorporated 
the word secular into the Indian constitution. Then after India turned to secular state. In secular state, there should not be any uh, disturbances. There should not be any uh, what to call inequalities in the society. So there after 1971, privy purses which were given to the princess that was abolished. Understand? And titles also abolished which were carried by the princess as a Raja Bahadur, Raja Khan Bahadur that such titles were allowed for princess to carry after independence and those also removed in 1971. Understand? In that way, we see that uh, the matter of uh, merging the princely states to Indian Union started from July 1947 and ended by uh, what you call uh, uh, 15th. Uh, uh, it is uh, it is ended by 15th August 1947. Only Hyderabad state and Junagadh these were uh, not added to Indian Union. Finally, we see that uh, Indian Army waged uh, an attack on uh, Hyderabad uh, region. There was uh, clashes between uh, troops of uh, Nizam and Indian Army. Indian Army with the Operation Polo defeated the what, uh, Nizam and Nizam surrendered to the Indian uh, Army uh, which was uh, carried by Sardar Vallabhai Patel in 1948. Uh, Right, that is what we call Telangana. Right, uh, what to call uh, uh, Telangana armored struggle raised, uh, and that was uh, supported uh, by the Indian Army, and Indian Army succeeded merging the Hyderabad state uh, to the Indian Union on 17th September 1948. Understand? In that way, Hyderabad also merged to the Indian Union. Junagadh, understand? Which also what? Uh, Later uh, in uh, 1950, uh, after 1950s, uh, 50s, in 1950s, it was merged to the Indian Union with a police attack. Instead, so in this way, the uh, all uh, princely states which were uh, small regions and disintegrated one were merged and created a, uh, United India by the what to call Sardar Vallabhai. Patel and Stan. So he is called uh, Iron Man of uh, India. What is called Iron Man of India for uh, uh, creating uh, integrated uh, India and Stan. In this way, we see that uh, Hyderabad state uh, uh, gone and turned to one of the region in uh, India and Stan. Look at this is the what all princely states and Stan which were uh, uh, merged into the Indian Union, India, and created as a Indian Union by the uh, what you call uh, uh, this uh, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Instead, so it is the uh, uh, what you call princely states. Instead, during uh, uh, one one important point, I want to state you that uh, when India and uh, Pakistan, uh, India divided into two parts at that time, uh, Rio seated, right? So during the Rio time in Nohakali, people fought each other. See, this figure shows your uh, Hindu-Muslim clashed at Nohakali and in the northwest frontiers. Today, Pakistan is there in that region. Hindu-Muslims fought uh, that way instead. So here, we see anyway, it has uh, finished by the Sardar Vallabhai Patel, that is integrating the what princely states. So the major task uh, uh, achieved by the Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who was the first uh, Home Minister of uh, Indian. Only Kashmir. Kashmir is left for uh, uh, Nehru. Nehru taken that uh, he would go on uh, taking action on Kashmir. So that uh, uh, Kashmir was filled uh, up to the uh, what to call uh, the thing. Till it is uh, it was in trouble. Recently the BJP government uh, taken action it instead. Right. It was a part of India because Maharaja Hari Singh Right, who was the ruler of uh, Kashmir, he uh, signed the instrument of uh, accession. Understand what he signed? Instrument of accession. Understand what is mean by instrument of accession, dear students? Uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, agreement 
accepting that uh, uh, they are willing to merge their kingdom to the Indian Union that is called the instrument of accession. So here we see that uh, uh, this instrument accession instrument of accession was uh, uh, signed by the Maharaja Hari Singh. So Kashmir is a part of the India. Understand? So still Pakistan creating the trouble. Uh, so uh, though many times it was uh, defeated and uh, uh, it is uh, not getting success trying understand but we are very strong uh, uh, that we don't want uh, anything extra that is that is not belongs to our india understand right so uh, pakistan also part of india only understand but what it is uh, as a uh, british has decided to create a partition so it was created understand so in that way we see that it is a uh, uh, princely states uh, were uh, ended and uh, indian union created uh, uh, after the uh, what to call merging of the princely states 